Kurubio, we are His Imperial Majesty Ahosu Agelo Bagan Agbavi, the Ganloro Hosu, which means the Ahosu, or King, of uh, the only maroon monarchy in the world, uh, which is Ganloro. Ganloro uh, roughly translates to as to those that have uh, broken the chains, and not only just to free themselves, but to restore order. The word order, tuto, in the Aja language. So we're not just a, a, a king that sits in state, show up at events and sit up, people take pictures. In fact, we don't even do that. Uh, we're not a, a king that allows uh, non-Africans to come to our events and take pictures and warrior our ceremonies. Uh, we don't even talk to non-Africans about African tradition. This will be as close as they get, which is a video. But the chances of these videos getting in their hands um, is low, even though we have many house Negroes out there that are voyeuring our, voyeuring our stuff and they may pass it along to their non-African friend. Our Ganlodo website is G-A-N-L-O-D-O Kingdom.com Ganlodo Kingdom.com G-A-N-L-O-D-O Kingdom.com Our publications are found at our website Kilombo Restoration and Healing and that is RestorationHealing.com So to get straight to it and make this video as short as possible we are speaking on the not just these recent mass shootings that happened over uh, the weekend. This uh, today in their year it is uh, August fifth. So over this past weekend, it is Monday, August fifth for them. Um, and for most people watching this, because many do, many want an African calendar, but they just don't know where it is. We have an African calendar, but we're just gonna keep it playing. So Monday, August 5th is the day for them, for the European world. Um, man, there were two mass shootings, one in Dayton, Ohio, one in um, El Paso, we believe. Uh, 20 people in one and maybe nine in the other. No, maybe 11 in the other. Um, at this point, yes, they're saying 31 people are, 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 are dead. Now, we want to first start by saying before we get to the true gist of this video, we uh, sent condolences to any African, to the families of any African that was killed just by being an innocent bystander per se. We say per se because it's kind of less a segue into the, the gist of what we're talking about. Um... We, had a, we did an Ifa reading, Ifa divination, um, some, a few years ago, not too long ago. And what we used to do, we used to give a, a reading, like a forecast uh, for the year, right? And in this particular forecast, it warned African people about being around a bunch of Non-Africans, in particular, white people. It specifically said that. Yes, the oracle does speak specific. Any house Negro that you may see dressed like this, claiming to be a priest, and that says, uh, Ifa, the oracle doesn't see color or race, whatever that may be. Um, they, they are, they are, uh, they are lying. You know, and they're suffering from ecumenical disease. Ecumenical disease propels them to see beyond past reality, you know, to, or to not see reality. Reality is a hammer just hit them in the face. They're ecumenical. They're like, no, that wasn't a hammer. And it don't really hurt, you know, but they got a knot on their head, big as their head, you know. So... And we've had uh, several readings just to mention this in various contexts. So here we are again with another mass 
shooting. Um, there were many between their January and their May. We think it's been a total of what they're considering mass shootings, 19. Uh, some were, were four victims. We think the least was four victims. But we're talking about, in, in, a lot of those cases, four victims, it was like four people in a house. You know, two people in a house here, uh, you know, at one place, and then they went somewhere else, killed two other people. So that was, that was personal. You know, those are more personal. So they need to re-up and redefine their mass shooting uh, definition. We are talking about shootings like what happened over this weekend and what happened at Walmart where 20 people, 20 people shopping in a Walmart were killed all pretty much at the same time. 20 children killed at a, at a school. You know, these are the, the deranged, oftentimes, more often uh, than not, white supremacists, right? Where they go on the streets shoot up churches, kill nine people there, we believe it was nine a few years ago in South Carolina. And ironically, those people at that church immediately started talking about forgiving this guy uh, who was, when they arrested him, he was allowed to request to stop at a McDonald's and get what he wanted. The police probably paid for it, more than likely, because if he's arrested, you know, but it doesn't matter. He, he might have got something free. They might have heard about the shooting at the McDonald's. You know, some white people working at the McDonald's like, oh, this on the house. You just shot up not only nine new Africans, so-called black people, but at their church. You went in and you were invited in. You were let in. They saw you come in. You didn't sneak up on them. This video is about African people finally waking up and having some sense for a change. Somebody might say, why, why, would, why is a king speaking on this? Why would a priest or a king, somebody wearing African clothing like that? We're not used to that. Um, you know, the king doesn't supposed to get political. That's a lie. You know, and uh, they, they say that uh, jargon in, in, in uh, Nigeria and Benin, those kings over there, so-called kings, uh, say that over there, that's a lie. But they can do that. They 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 choose to do that. It's funny they 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 say they don't supposed to get involved in politics, but they are often the ones who are responsible for politically uh, setting it up where foreign companies like the Chinese and whatnot come in and take people's land, but they don't get involved in politics though. You know. Uh, stop hanging around white people especially a group of white people now for those that are endeared to white people endeared to the idea of America patriotism, military, all of that this video is not going to work for you uh, for those that need a, a how you ring a bell and you know there's an alert. Be like, oh, a bell is ringing, you know. Or an alarm goes off. Like, oh, it's time, you know. Um, for those that are looking for that, this video may help. Um, but it's also, once again, a prediction, a warning. Uh, hanging around a bunch of white people, especially white people drinking. At the Dayton situation, they were downtown. Now, that guy went down there for that. Um, he may not have been hanging out there because he was, they say he was dressed in full gear, you know, to go down and he was ready. So, but, but that's as a side note, hang around white people while they're drinking. Don't get mad at the stuff they do. They start touching your hair, touching on your skin because they still ain't figured out the beauty of African skin, you know, start doing gay stuff. That's what they do when they drink. They come out all if anything that they they've been harboring. They can't they can't hold it in when they drink. In particular, white women. They're very dangerous. Do not hang around white people while they're drinking. That means you know if you're at a job and hey we're going out for drinks. It's wine down Wednesday. 
It would behoove you if you don't. If you don't want. If you want to save a call, save several calls, possible fights with the white folks. Several, save several calls to your black friends that you ain't gonna say in front of the white people. Oh, I can't believe he touched my hair. He he did this. He was rubbing on my chest. We're talking about if you're a man or a woman. It could be a man rubbing on a man or a woman. That's how they do because they they're by nature they're diabolical and they're dissexual by nature. They just some are better at holding on, holding in the dissexuality, the so-called homosexuality, the pedophilia, and and things like that. Okay, so stop hanging around white folk as much as you can. Now we know we're in America. Everybody doesn't live in Atlanta or D.C. or uh, Compton, Oakland, uh, Houston. You know. But you do have a choice. You know, you don't have to go downtown and hang out where all the, the white people at. You know, most of you have friends. It's always better to kick it at the house or whatever. You know, because you spend a lot of money at these clubs and, and bars and whatnot. Anyway, you know. Also, too, this, this, uh, this you know, got us thinking, you know, support African businesses more. Many are not in a position where they really can. Uh, some are, but they find excuses not to. So if you want to go out and you're in a city where, they, where there's a black sports bar, go to the black sports bar. Haven't heard of a mass shooting at a black sport, sports bar at all, period. Or any. And when we say mass shooting, we're going to beyond the definition of the FBI. FBI says mass shooting is when three or more people get killed, uh, not including the shooter. No, we no, we talking about where these somebody goes to a, 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 an establishment and just start firing up on people for no reason, usually based on the fact that they are Yovo non-African, in this particular case, 10 out of 10, white folks, as we as people call them. Um, and, we, you know, they shoot up their own people. Uh, let's say, let's go back to the Dayton, Ohio situation. There are a lot of African people in Dayton, Ohio. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of them, and that's, that, go, that takes us back to uh, innocent victim, but we say that hesitantly, because a lot of them are going down there so they can be around white people. We don't know if there were any so-called black victims. Um, we've seen photo, photos where there definitely were black people down there. Dayton has a lot of black people. So, you know, they may... Um, Go down there, they think, you know, their grass is greener anyway, you know. It's just like in Mobile, Alabama. Um, you know, the downtown district is is growing and we understand that there, are, that there has been a little increase in black businesses down there. And that's good. We hope that our African people down in Mobile patronize uh, these African businesses. However... There are some people that go down there. Um, they might be at a black business, but they're going down there because they know there's going to be a plethora of crackers down there. So they feel good. Hey, I hung downtown. I took a picture with a white girl. Some white people I just met, they bought me a pitcher of beer. Yeah. So... Uh, Being in their midst and not being also on a security orientation is very dangerous for you. So let's say you do go to the mall, not to hang at the mall, but you just want to go to the mall to get something or whatever. Or go, go to the Walmart where it's predominantly white people, you know, that's your closest one. Uh, go in there with a security mindset. Be watching everything. The best thing African people can do today, you know, when they're in public situations, is watch 
everything that white folks do. Everything. Now, when you're in the hood, so to speak, that's another situation. And, you know, you know, we call them GMOC plum in the uh, phone dialect of the Aja language of Southern Benin, Republic, West Africa. Uh, that means one uh, born without knowledge, one badly born, a.k.a. niggas. There's a difference between niggas, black folks. Uh, niggas are a problem. But that's internal. That's in the in the hood. But we're talking about, we, we still ain't getting 20 people killed in the hood. Um, so it would, it would behoove you to watch every move of uh, white people when you go out amongst them when they are in the majority, especially these downtown areas. Watch them closely. So this is a reminder uh, from the monarchy of Gunlodo, from an African man, if we were not a monarch or a priest or whatever, um, hanging around groups of white people will get you messed up. Boston, Massachusetts, the the marathon they have up there, whatever, when all those people got messed up up there, a bunch of white folks, you know, and for the black folks that want to be around them and, and, and just love to be around them, that could have been that could have been them. Think about it. You 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 may call us racist or whatever. Call us racist, we say thank you. We are we are not moved by terminology, these catchphrases. Oh, you're homophobic. Get out of here. Homophobia means to have a fear. We don't fear quote unquote heterosexuals or quote unquote homosexuals. doesn't make any sense you know so whatever we'll be homophobic you still it's still not going to stop the momentum of what we're saying and the quilombo paradigm which is our movement the quilombo paradigm informs us of who our internal and external enemies are it informs us that hey this sexuality so-called homosexuality is not only improper but unnatural and also anti, full assault against anything African, anything human, and Africans being the only true humans. So we're not, so you call us racist, whatever, but we say, for your sake, you know, at the end of the day, you got to look at the facts. Look at how these mass shootings are ha happening. Who Look at who, who are doing them. Mass shootings. Now, we're talking about 10, 15 people for no reason. Somebody going to an establishment or a neighborhood or a church or whatever and shooting up everybody. White folks. So, call us what you want. You cannot deny the facts. Now, you may die. You may die in spite of us. To despite, to spite the facts. Well, I'm going down downtown just because. I'm going to show him. Then you end up on the 6 o'clock, 11 o'clock news. It's nothing to us. That means you're the enemy anyway. So. Once again, oh, our, e our email contact is ekaabokilumbo e e at gmail.com. That is E-K-A-A. E-K-A-A, -A, uh, e e yes. Uh, B-O. K-I-L-O-M-B-O at gmail.com E-K-A-A B-O K-I-L-O-M-B-O at gmail.com Odigba